20 odd years ago, um, I was a breast cancer researcher um, and I really did think that my future lay in that direction. Um, and it may yet, you know, end up back there at some point in the future, um, because as we've been discussing today, you know, the world of CLL is changing remarkably and improvements in therapy may well end up putting me out of a job at some point in the near future. And that'll be a great thing. Um, but yeah, I, I basically changed course and started working on this mysterious illness called chronic lymphocytic leukemia because of my dad. Um, I went home one weekend and dad sat down with me and said, I've been diagnosed with a disease called chronic lymphocytic leukemia. And of course I knew nothing about it. Um, so I toddled off to the library and uh, tried to find out what I could about it. And I was really quite shocked at how little was known about this disease. And it was probably a combination of naivety and arrogance really that led me to believe that I might actually be able to do a bit better than that um, and make some inroads into a, our understanding of what this disease was all about. So I ended up um, doing several postdoctoral positions, but I ended up working actually for my dad's clinician in the end, um, which was quite a surreal experience at times because I actually worked with my dad's own cells uh, in the lab. Again, I'm not sure that um, the ethics committees had raised an eyebrow at that today, um, but back then it, life was just a bit simpler, I think. But yeah, that's how it all started for me. And um, yeah, so, like, like most people, actually, I think parents do shape our futures, but perhaps mine more than most. This building has been open now for three years. Um, and the, the vision for this building was based on the realization that all human cancers are really fundamentally about genetic change. So hence Cancer Genetics Building, because at the core of every human cancer is a genetic defect, something that's gone wrong with the DNA of an individual cell. Um, and so the work that goes on here reflects that fact. And, and actually there's a whole gamut of work going on in this relatively small building, it has to be said. I mean, our group is probably about half of this floor uh, working on chronic lymphocytic leukemia and another related um, B cell disorder called multiple myeloma. Um, but there's another group working on basic DNA repair mechanisms just down the corridor here. And a group downstairs um, led by my friend and colleague Duncan Baird working on um, very specialised pieces of D DNA material at the ends of chromosomes called telomeres. The research that we do can be broken down into three main sort of areas of interest if you like. So we've got basic cell biology at one end. So trying to understand what makes tumour cells grow, what makes them resist drugs, uh, what makes them um, behave the way that they do, what, what's different about them from a normal B cell. And then perhaps two much more applied areas of research. So one looking at prognostic markers, so trying to identify molecules expressed by um, those tumour cells that will help us to predict for, for patients how their disease is going to develop. CLL is one of those curious um, human cancers that has a really very diverse clinical history. Some patients ha lead a normal life. In other words, they die with their disease, not of their disease. Whereas at the other end of the spectrum, some patients have an incredibly aggressive tumour that, that probably brings about their demise in less than two years. Um, and so we're trying to identify those patients prospectively to help them manage their lives and to help clinicians determine what drugs to treat them with. And then, so that leads me neatly to the third component of the work that we do, which is developing new drugs.